listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, <clears throat> good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnishas out there in Gwinnett Land and all of you around the world listen to the sound of my voice. When I tell y'all it is a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County, it is a beautiful day and it's going to get even more beautiful. 46 degrees, 48 degrees right now, going up to a high of 65. Oh my God, that's going to be beautiful. So I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Today is Thursday, February the 10th. Yes, time waits for no one. Time waits for no one. I've had a pretty interesting morning already. So, y'all know on Sundays, maybe y'all don't know, but on Sundays, I host a show called Popcorn and Politics, where we talk about, that's why I try not to talk about pop politics on Good Morning Gwinnett, because I want to talk about it on Popcorn and Politics. Plus, I want Good Morning Gwinnett to be like a, a more family kind of show, fun and, and entertaining, and so um, I try not to talk about politics, but there's some things early in the morning that's in the news that I have to talk about. But anyway... On Sundays, I host popcorn and I co-host popcorn and politics with Derek J. Wilson, and we bring on political leaders, community activists, community government officials, and uh, uh, political candidates, right? Candidate candidates on the show to talk about what, what's going on on their platforms. And so this past Sunday, we had. Um, Gwinnett County uh, Solicitor General Brian Whiteside on, but he was having problems with his computer. And so we tried to do it last night, and there were still some problems with the with the video. Because, you know, video and, and technology can be very fickle. But anyway, we, we managed to get the interview done this morning at 8.30. And when I tell you it was explosive, y'all, it was explosive. I'm like, I was sitting up there trying to, like, keep my composure. He is so passionate about the work that he does. And, um, you know, he has my vote. I'm just going to put it out there. He has my vote. He, you know, he doesn't need my endorsement because he, you know, he can stand on his own. But I, he has my vote because he, what, what he says makes so much sense to me. And so that's why I like doing popcorn and politics because you get to learn a lot. And what he, he talked a lot about the Constitution and our constitutional rights. We don't even know our rights. And I said to him, listen, I'm, I'm ashamed to say I don't even know the Constitution. I don't. But I know I'm not the only one that don't that does not know the Constitution. And so he talked a lot about that. But he, you know, he was he didn't miss any words this morning. He didn't bite his tongue. He had to say what he he, he said what he wanted to say, and he wasn't apologetic about what he said. And so it was a very explosive episode, bright and early this morning. So this is my second podcast for today. So if you want to check out what Solicitor General Brian Whiteside had to say on Popcorn and Politics, just go on over to popcornandpolitics.com and you'll see his episode there. So that was pretty explosive. Pretty explosive. Um, and so, yeah, so let's get on with the show. So today, wait, I got to tell y'all this real quick. So my, my NFT is finally done. So if, if you want to purchase an NFT, you can go to madambutterflynft.com. madambutterflynft.com nft.com yes it's finally done now today i will spend the rest of the day after i do this show and i got two meetings i will spend the rest of my day marketing my nft so i'm excited about that all right cool let's get on with this show today is thursday today is my friday i know it's thursday but it's my friday by the way by the way if you want to come out tomorrow morning eight o'clock in the morning i will be at the peace tree cafe located at 30 South Clayton Street in Lawrenceville, we're doing um, our breakfast club. So I got the Gwinnett Beck Breakfast Club that meet the second and fourth Friday of each month. It's free. You got to pay for your own food, but it's free to attend. Pay for your own food. I got to tell y'all, I was there a couple of weeks ago. I had the Reuben. Yeah, I know. Early in the morning, I had a Reuben. It was delicious. I didn't have the sauerkraut, though. The corned beef on that Reuben was the bomb. Do you hear what I'm saying? It was the bomb, diggity, diggity. So if you want to come out tomorrow and mastermind and network with us, 8 o'clock in the morning, we'll be at the Peace Tree Cafe located at 30 South Clayton Street in Lawrenceville, Georgia. So it's right next to the lawn. So come out, hang out with us. It's free to attend, but you got to buy your own breakfast, okay? We mastermind, we talk business, we solve problems, we just have a good old time. So be sure to join me. All right, now let's get on to this show. Today is National Giving Hearts Day. Yeah, National Giving Hearts Day. It's also National Cream Cheese Brownie Day. That sounds delightful. Anything that has cream cheese in it for me sounds delightful. Fattening, but delightful. 
It's National Home Warranty Day and it's National Umbrella Day. Um, we won't need umbrellas here today in Georgia because it's going to be 65 and no no, no rain in the forecast. Let me just say that. Now, that could change. I hope it doesn't because 65 degrees is beautiful. So, it's National Umbrella Day. So, be sure if you if where you are is raining, take your umbrella. Even if it's snowing, if you don't like to get wet. I, I can do the snow more so than the, the rain. Yeah, I can. All right, let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Notre Dame Mike Catholic for today, Thursday, February the 10th. Gonna kick it off like we always do, and that is with Aries. You can make new friends by taking part in social events involved involving colleagues. You must strive to get the most important projects completed properly rather than doling everything in a half-baked way. Empty promises will call will, will cause upset. Alright, listen here. Don't make empty promises, Aries. If you know you can't do something, don't do it. Don't try to be the hero. Don't try to look good. If you know you can't do it, say, hey, I can't do it. Because here's the thing. It's going to make you look bad in the long run. If you if you do a lot of empty promise and you don't come through, it's not going to make you look good at all. Now you got to go back and try to fix the situation. How about not get into the situation from the beginning? I'm just trying to help you out. Taurus. The key word here, Taurus, is secret. Secret affairs can only lead to devastating circumstances. Be careful not to divulge secret information today. Use discrimination and play hard to get. All right, listen. The key word there is secret. You got it twice, Taurus. Don't give out secret information and don't do secret affairs. And use discrimination and play hard to get. Don't be so easy. And especially, don't don't even get involved if it's going to be a secret. You know it's a secret because you see the ring. It's a secret. You see the ring. It's a secret. Don't do it. Gemini. You will back yourself into a corner if you are baited and your stubbornness will only make matters worse. If they don't want to get involved, work by yourself. You can do it, Gemini. Work by yourself, baby. You know what to do. You can make financial deals that will bring you extra cash. A little extra cash ain't hurt nobody. Work by yourself and make that money. Keep all the pie for yourself, Gemini. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Listen, I got it this morning ready to do shows. So I'm 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 a little hyped up and I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I took some cough syrup that could be hyping me up. And that's because my nose. Here's this whole I don't know what's going on. Anyway, cancer. Get busy trying to make more money. All right. Your tendency to take on too much will end in fatigue. Don't re- don't let relatives stand in the way of your personal plans. As a matter of fact, don't even tell them your business. Don't even tell them you're playing cancer. Just keep keep your plans to yourself. That way they can't stand in the way. Right? Get busy making some money. Yeah, make more money, more money, more money, make more. Yeah, get busy. You, you're talented, Cancer. You'll find a way. Leo, try not to push your philosophies on others. Do not overexpand if you have your own business. Ooh, child, they should be talking to me. Sit tight. Try to keep your cool. And you may be a tad bit frazzled by all the rushing around. Sit tight. Keep it cool. Stop rushing. They Stop rushing. Now, listen. This is a good one, Aaliyah. Do not overexpand if you have your own business. Ooh, I'm glad that said that to you and not me, Leo. Because I'm always, I'm, I'm overexpanding right now as we speak. Not right this second because I'm talking to you. But as soon as I get finished, I'll be overexpanding. Unless, my, unless the stars say, don't do it, Audrey. Don't do it. Virgo, don't let your anger consume you and don't allow important matters to go unattended to. Your best efforts will come through investments concerning your home. Ask others to help or you may feel that that a burden is weighing you down. Listen, don't try to do it all yourself. You know what I mean? And don't let anger consume you. That that is a that is a negative energy. Do not let that consume you. Find your happy place today, Virgo. Go outside. Put your feet on the ground. I did that the other morning, y'all. Because I was like, I need I need my head. My head is just clogged up again. I was like, I need my head to clear up. So I went outside. It was kind of cold. I went outside in my bare feet and stood on and stood on the grass. Like, okay, Earth, I need you to suck this, this mucus out of my body. Heal me. I'm not sick. I feel great. It's just my nose. I know. People probably saying, well, you need to do something about that. And I probably do. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I'm trying. All right, I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Micah Thyssen. Stay tuned.
It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, giving you the daily horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Micah Thyssen. We're going to pick it up with Libra. Loved ones may be annoyed if you feel if they feel restricted. Don't hesitate to voice your opinion when it comes to matters pertaining to work. Good day for romance. All right. Listen, we it's almost Valentine's Day. Y'all know what it is. Love is in the air, baby. Love is in the air. Don't try to leave them now because it's almost Valentine's Day. Listen, if they try to get mad and pick a fight before Valentine's Day, they're trying to leave you because they don't want to they don't want to spend Valentine's with you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, I'm not saying that you Libra. I'm just saying in general. Because somebody might be leaving you for Valentine's Day. Scorpio. You may have difficulties with someone close to you. Be sure to take care of any minor elements. Do you really want to start something with someone you can't reason with? I would say don't do it. Yeah, if you already know you can't reason with that person, don't start anything with them. Because that's going to only, only lead you to have headaches in the long run. So listen here, Scorpio, don't do it. Sagittarius, valuable information can be yours if you listen to those with experience. Be sure to keep communication open with those you live with. Avoid arguments with relatives who might be conservative and outdated. Listen, you can't change the way they think. I'm just saying. So just avoid it at all costs. They're going to think the way they think. They're conservative. They're outdated. They're old-fashioned. You know, you, you've you heard your parents say, oh, he's so old-fashioned. Yeah, some people just old-fashioned. They're not going to change. So don't even, don't waste your energy. Find something else to put that energy into. Capricorn, don't hesitate to voice your opinions at a group meeting. However, keep your thoughts to yourself at home. At work, say what you got to say. At home, keep it to yourself. You would be wise to consider attending lectures that will broaden your awareness concerning your professional direction. You will learn recognition for the work you are doing. You will earn recognition. So your work will not go unnoticed. People are watching you, Kat. People are always watching you. I don't care who you are. Somebody is watching you. I know that sounds freakish, right? It's the truth. Somebody is always watching you. And you don't even know. I was asking my daughter this morning about somebody. And I said to her, is this person on your, or do they follow you on Instagram? And she's like, I don't, because they, somebody, someone made a statement to me yesterday that I thought was kind of like, oh, like that, right? Like, where did that come from? And I asked her, is that person following you? And she's like, I don't know. Because for them to ask me that question, I'm thinking, well, they must be following her. And it was, because it, it was a pretty personal question. So you would only know something like that if you was, if you were following her some kind of way. And um, and she said, no, but just know that people are always watching. Aquarius, don't torment yourself. Disharmony in the home will be extremely stressful. Take time to explain your intentions to loved ones. You have two choices. Get out on your own or bend to your mate's whims. Two, which one you going to choose? Are you going to bend or are you going to step? That sound like it could be a dance, right? Bend and step, bend and step, or exercise. Which one are you going to do, Aquarius? You got two choices. You can bend or you can step. Go out on your own. Put your big girl panties on. Put your big boy underwears on. And go ahead and make your move. 
Last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces, you may want to talk to your boss about your future goals. You can expect changes at your workplace. Work quietly on your own. Well, I don't really have a boss and I don't really have a workplace except for my home office and the studio that I never go into. I know, it's so, so sad, right? I pay money for a studio that I'm never at. I'm trying to get there. I need a new computer. <laughs> my husband, he sent me a text yesterday. My birthday is next Sunday. And um, he sent me a text yesterday. He said, what you want for your birthday? And I put, a, I put the LOL face, and I was like, a computer. Because he asked me that for Christmas, and I said, a computer. And he's like, I buy you a computer every year, which he does. He buys me a computer every year. But I burn through computers I burn through them because I use them all the time. I need a really good computer because I do a lot of media. And so I was like, I need a computer. I have three computers at the studio. None of them runs the program the way it needs to be run. So my show will be janky and I can't, I can't fathom having a a janky show. So I'm at home at the home office in the studio all the time, which I kind of like being home in my office studio. So that's probably the other problem too. All right, that's all the horoscopes I got for you today. I'll be back again tomorrow. To, no, no, no. Tomorrow's Friday. I'll be back again on Monday to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Notre Astrology, Mike Thyssen. Don't forget, join me tomorrow, the uh, Gwinnett Breakfast Club, 8 a.m., Peachtree uh, Cafe, 30 South Clayton Street, Lawrenceville, Georgia, 30046. It's free to attend, but you got to buy your own breakfast. If you want to come out and mastermind with us, over there at the breakfast club yes we got our own breakfast club y'all i'm excited about this it's growing too i got a lot of people that registered now a lot of people registered last week and didn't show up matter of fact i'm gonna send out an email today like hey looking forward to seeing you tomorrow um but you know it was a nice intimate group and i got to meet some amazing people looking forward to meet some new amazing people tomorrow Sure am, sure am. All right, let's get on with some news you can use. So Gwinnett Schools to host a COVID-19 vaccine clinic. Yeah, they're going to be hosting some clinics so kids can get vaccinated. The clinics are open to anyone five and older. Children must be with their parent or a guardian to receive the shot. Appointments are not required. And we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be working with the Gwinnett County too. Greater Eastside Chamber, um, we're working with the, with the Gwinnett County and the Gwinnett Health Department on the 26th to have a clinic. Now, here's the thing about that clinic. Um, anybody, five and up, can get the shot. And and they're going to be giving out $100 gift cards. This is on this is on February 26th. I have all the information about the location and everything. But just know that if you have not gotten your shot yet and you want to get that $100 gift card, you and your children can get a gift card. $100 each. So when you come out to get the vaccine on uh, February 26, you can get the vaccine and $100 gift cards while supplies last. So I think it's going to be about 500 gift cards somewhere around there. So you want to be a part of that first 500 um, to come out and get the gift cards. So that's $100, but that's on February 26. And I'll give you more information about that um, after, because we got a meeting today. After the meeting, I should have like a, a location and all that stuff. As a matter of fact, it's going to be at Lenora, Lenora Park. That's where it's going to be. Lenora Park, February 26th. I think it's starting at 9 o'clock. I have a solid, a solid date on Monday. Um, and, the, and you're going to get a $100 gift card while supplies last. Let me say that again. While supplies last, you're going to get a $100 gift card. Um, you and your kids as well. So everybody who gets the vaccine gets a hundred dollar card. In the meantime, if you don't care about the hundred dollars and you want to just go ahead and get the vaccine, you can go ahead and do that. Um, so today at South Gwinnett High School from three to six, they're doing um, vaccinations. Tuesday at Archer High School, three to eight, they're doing vaccinations. Um, February 24th at Brookwood High School, they're doing vaccination from three to eight and three to eight on February 28th at the Kula High School. All right, so if you want to go ahead to get to one of those, you can do that. So today, 3 to 6 at South Gwinnett, uh, 3 to 8 Tuesday at Archer High School, 3 to 8 on February 24th at Brookwood High School, and 3 to 8 February 28th at Decula High School. So, But if you want to get the $100, February 26th at Lenora Park at 9 to, I think it's 9 to nine to seven or nine to six or something like that but remember you're only going to be able to get the the gift cards while they last so don't be all happy talking about i'm about to get some gift cards now only while supplies last so if you get there late because you you're moving slow slow your blow that's what my uncle used to say my uncle used to say he goes slow your blow yeah 
really pretty much some people just do everything every they late everywhere they do everything slow all the time this they just slow they're just slow you know i, I read this story in the um in the ajc this morning i thought it was a really 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 um great story it's it's about a young man his name is arturo reyes and he was a gifted soccer player and 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 he was recruited while he was at Duluth High School to receive a full scholarship ride to SMU. And he was excited about going to college to play soccer because he was great. Only to find out that once he got the offer, he had to he had to he couldn't get the offer after he got the offer for the scholarship because he was an undocumented citizen. So he had been brought to this country when he probably was a baby. And he was never documented. So when it was time for him to get the scholarship, the colleges that were looking at him, the colleges that offered him the scholarship said, we have to rescind our offer because unfortunately you're not documented. He was undocumented. And that was so, I thought that was crazy, but here's the thing. He didn't give up on his dream of being documented. And so what happened was his grandmother had a heart attack and he went to the, to the, to the hospital with her and she spoke Spanish and nobody at the ER spoke Spanish. And she had to have a procedure, so he had to go in the procedure room with her and translate. While he was in the procedure room, he realized, I want to be in the medical field. See, God has his own way of doing stuff. Our path is not God's path. Let me just say that. It is not. And so for Arturo, it was like, okay, I want to do this thing. He thought it was soccer. And had he gotten a scholarship, he, he may not have been there with his grandmother to go to the ER to translate. But he goes to the ER with her. He translates for them, and he realizes after seeing the procedure and spending some time at the hospital, I want to be in the medical field. Now he's on his way to becoming probably a, a doctor. Yep, he's he's a, he's in school right now. He is um, studying medicine. He has you know degrees and and he's a medical assistant. And I mean just just he's in he's currently enrolled full time at Mercer University Physician Assistant Studies Program on the path to graduate in twenty twenty four. So that's a great story, you know. Um, one path did not work, but another path did. And so I just I just wanted to share. That's a good, that's one of the feel-good kind of stories. You know, I talk about a lot of stuff, but that, to me, I was like, that's a great story. I think I spelled his name wrong, though. So I got to go back and fix that later. But um, I just I just thought that was a feel-good story. I wanted to share that story because sometimes, you know, even if your dreams are shattered, you kind of give up. And you shouldn't give up, right? Just take a, take, pick a new dream. If the one that you thought was supposed to be for you, and here's the thing, God will put you on the path to that new dream. You thought that dream was shattered, right? And and, and and it may have been, but that wasn't the path you were supposed to be on anyway. I feel like I'm doing the closing of the show early. I'm not. I'm not. As a matter of fact, I'm going to a song. I'll be back after this song to give you more of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. Stay tuned. <laughs>
Welcome back, welcome back. Man, that's why I love doing this show, because I get to play great music. Yes, I do, I do, I do. Um, so, um, <clears throat> the uh, public input is needed on Gwinnett School District initiatives. So, Gwinnett County School District will use thought exchange to learn what families and staff think about key issues and initiatives and topics. <clears throat> So this is the opportunity for parents to, to voice their opinion. So the district has partnered with the developer to help students, family, staff, and community members offer feedback and engage with one another according to a news release. It's also, um, it's also a discussion management platform. So Thought Exchange will allow participants to share their thoughts and ideas and or indicate their level of satisfaction with specific educational programs and initiatives found in schools and the district. Um, so that's going to be pretty interesting because we know we already got some people who don't like some things that's going on. But anyway, this is an opportunity. If you have a problem or you got a concern or issue or thought or something that you want to see um, implemented inside the school, this is your opportunity to do that. So um, the platform allows participants to remain anonymous so that nobody knows who you are just to, just to be just to ensure that people's voices are heard because a lot of times when you speak out people people want to turn against you they want to you know especially if it's not what they believe in you know so they want it they want people to know that it's a safe environment for you to share your opinions um it's a thought exchange so that's going to be more information about that you can probably go to gwinnett county public school system website and find out more information about that so i thought that was pretty cool um, and a, a lot of people got things they want to say, you know what I mean? They, they, they want to, they got stuff they want to talk about. They really do. On, uh, um, more about Gwinnett Public Schools. So Gwinnett County Public Schools, um, the counselors are saying, you know what? We are creating a culture of belonging to support the whole learner. Yeah. The whole learner, not just some of the, not just some, everybody, which is a great thing. Um, this week was National Counseling Week from that started this week, and they said we celebrate our school counselors and the vital work they do to support um, our children and young people. I can tell y'all this, right? I, I'm never going to forget this guy. Um, my counsel, and it's been a long time. Let me just say that. Let me just start out by saying that I, it's been a long time since I had a counselor. My counselor name was Mr. Avenette when I was in high school, and I used to love Mr. Avenette because Mr. Avenette. He took the time to talk to me. Now, he told me to go to school to be an accountant. I think he should have did a little bit more work on that. But when I when I when I got older, older enough and became a business coach and consultant, I realized I probably would have made a really good guidance counselor. Because I love helping people find their way. And so when you're in high school, that's what you need. Like you need a counselor that you can go to to help you pretty much like coaches. Like I even thought about um I even thought about even proposing when I first moved to Georgia, um, proposing a program to have life coaches in schools. I don't know if they have them or not, but I felt like I would be a good counselor or a good high school life coach. I really do. Um, and then I'm not saying that to be bragging. I just feel like I've learned so much, and I and I know where I came from. I grew up in I grew up in the inner city. I grew up in Newark, New Jersey, and I was smart, but I didn't have a lot of guidance. So I did. I made some really terrible choices. You know, I did. Even with, even with with my guidance counselor telling me to go to college and be an accountant, and that's a that's an honorable um, career option. It just wasn't a good one for me, and, and I didn't know it. He didn't either. He just knew that I was good. So, I think I would have been a great counselor. But anyway, Gwinnett counselors are held in the highest regard within the school counseling profession. Gwinnett school counselors and many who support school counseling have accumulated more than one hundred state and national awards. The most of any school in the district in the nation, in any school district in the nation. Let me say that again. <laughs> Let me say that one more time. When that counselor, school counselors, and many who support the this, this school counseling have accumulated more than 100 state and national awards. The most of any school district in the nation. Not the state. The nation. So I got to give them a round of applause for the work that they're doing over there. I'm talking about in the freaking, in the whole, in the nation. <laughs> and you know, I know they, I know that they have to wear a lot of hats because as a counselor, I can just imagine that you have to wear the hat, not only of just the council, but sometimes of the of the parents, the aunts, the uncles, you know, you have to probably be like an administrator because the teacher don't like you, all kinds of things. But I feel like that's why I would have excelled. And my, my brother's an educator. He's always say, you should be a teacher. I'm like, no, I can't be a teacher. 
I don't have the patience for teaching, but I had the patience to sit and talk to people. Hence why I do this show. Yeah, pretty much alone every morning <laughs> by myself. Just me, you, and the microphone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, I think that's pretty darn cool. It's, it's always cool to let people know that, you know what? We recognize you for the work you do, and we appreciate you for the work you do. That is a good thing. That is a good thing. Um, Live Healthy Gwinnett announces upcoming community fair. Yep, there's an upcoming community fair this coming third, this coming Saturday. So, um, the theme health fairs will take place from on Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So, if you want to live healthy, here's your opportunity. So, this Saturday, Heart Health Heart Month at Lenore Park, located at 4515 Lenore Church Road in Snellville. Um, these are health fairs. If you want to come out and attend, you can. They're free to the public. They want you to live healthy in Gwinnett County, so that's important. Um, they're going to be doing another one in May. It's Mental Health Month at Lucky Shoals. They're also going to be doing another one in July. It's Back to School, the Back to School Bash. And um, uh, November is Diabetes Month, so that's going to be at Rose Jordan Park. And I'll be announcing all of these as 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 they get closer. But right now, Heart Month is this month. And so it's going to be at Lenora Church Road this coming Saturday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's open to the public. It said, our health fairs are a wonderful opportunity for residents to come out and have some fun while picking up great tips on how to be more active and eat better. Yeah, eat better and live healthy. So live healthy Gwinnett. Yes, I love Gwinnett. We need to eat healthy. You know, go out, find out how to make a, di- a big difference in the overall well-being, both physically and mentally. Yep, this Saturday. All right, listen, guys, that's all I got. I'm going to go to my last song, and then I'm going to come back and give you my word of inspiration for the day. Stay tuned.
welcome back welcome back so listen guys that's all i got but before i go i want to give you my word of inspiration and it is a good one here goes it says the vision must be followed by the venture it is not enough to stare up the steps you must step up the stairs oh let me say it again the vision must be followed by the venture it is not enough to stare up the steps we must step up the stairs Vance Hanover, H Habner said that and he was right. Listen, it's one thing to have vision, but you got to take some action on that vision. You got to take the vision and turn it into the venture. Yes, it's good to look out, look out far, but now you got to start walking towards the, towards, the, towards the goal. Listen, when I started talking about doing this NFT, when I started talking about doing this podcast, when I started talking about launching a podcast network, when I started talking about launching an internet TV network, it was all talk. But guess what? It's all here. All of it. All my craziness is here. I got a podcast network. I got an internet TV ch channel. Internet TV company. Platforms. Network. I'm launching an NFT. Right? All, I've written books. I've invented dolls. Everything that I think about, I try to bring to life. Unless I just don't like it. Let me just say that. You have to like what you do. I love doing podcasting. I love talking about entrepreneurs. I love talking to entrepreneurs. I love talking to leaders. I love talking to government officials about what's happening in our community. Love all that stuff. That's why I do it. Now, I'd be glad when the day comes where I'm making millions and millions of dollars, but I know that is coming. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep on doing what I do. Launching things that mean something to me. That's what you got to do. So it's one thing to have the vision, but then you got to put the venture behind the vision. That's all I got for you. Listen, if you're, in the, if you're in the Lawrenceville area tomorrow, come out. Join us, the Gwinnett Bre Breakfast Club. We are we're going to be live tomorrow in person at the Peachtree Cafe located at 30 South Clayton Street in Lawrenceville, Georgia, 30046. Come out, have breakfast with us. You got to buy your own breakfast to come to the event. It's free, but you got to buy your own breakfast. I'll be there. So with some of my friends and my new friends, and hopefully you become one of my new friends. That's tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. We're there from 8 to 10.30, masterminding and doing business over breakfast. If you missed any episode of this show, go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to listen to past episodes there. Be sure to follow me on Facebook at Good Morning Gwinnett. Follow me on Instagram at Good Morning Gwinnett. And follow me on the Twitter at GM Gwinnett, the number one. If you listen to this show on Apple Podcasts, find your favorite two episodes and give them five stars and subscribe to the show. If you want to listen to the show on your Alexa, all you got to do is say, Alexa, open Good Morning with Net or play Good Morning with Net and it will play the latest episodes. Yes, we are everywhere. Yes, we are. We are the number one hyper local podcast globally syndicated around the world. Good Morning with Net. I'm your host and I thank you again for listening. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 42 minutes with me and I love and appreciate you for that. Be sure to stay safe out there, y'all. I'll be back on Monday, God willing. And, and you know what it is. Until next time, my friends, I love you guys for listening. Until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.